thank you very much for accepting to talk to me. Uh, just I caught you when you were about to leave uh, the hotel. Uh, I'm very fascinated with uh, the technique you've described, uh, Bocciardi's technique. And it took some time, but now people recognize the value of this technique. And I'm observing that there is a resurgence of this technique. Could you tell me how did you and why did you think of approaching prostate in an unusual manner? But the reason I think it's very simple. Uh, two ideas, these uh, important ideas in the reconstructive surgery. Uh, the first one is not to move the bladder from his position, the original position. I mean, this uh, uh, prevent the uh, uh, variation of the relationship between all the muscles that uh, concord to the continents. Uh, there is, I think, a balance in the pelvis between bladder, uh, sphincters, and the elevator any and other muscles to all together concord to the continents. And the second one, uh, if you don't move the bladder, uh, you make an astenosis without traction. This one another important thing, not to have stricture and uh, uh, not to have fistulas. And uh, the other uh, question is, uh, I believe in the uh, hammock ter uh, theory of uh, um, Mr. Dr. Um, I forgot the name in that moment, sorry. Uh, Ashtevai. Ashtevai, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, I believe that it's not a problem, only a problem of uh, bandel and uh, respect uh, of bandel, in, uh, especially with the use of the uh, coagulation. I think one of the most problems, the concord or the problem of continence and uh, bad erection is the vascularization of all the net around the prostate, all the bandel. So if uh, you pass through the outside, not inside, you can uh, uh, accidentally uh, close a big arm of uh, pudendal artery. Because I've noted in my experience in open surgery that sometimes patients had erection in days uh, after they, some days before or after the operation, and then little by little the credit. Uh, or uh, out from the operating room with the, an erection and then no more. I believe that is a consequence of uh, a uh, stop of the uh, feeding, uh, blood feeding to the nerves. And uh, in this way you respect the bladder, you don't move the bladder, you respect the balance of the continents and you respect to maximum the vascularization uh, of, the, of the bandals. Uh, whatever you have said me just now makes a perfect sense to me. Uh, uh, when you are talking of respecting the natural anatomy in any procedure you do. Yeah. When did you start uh, doing this procedure? Five years ago. Five years Five ago. Five years ago because and I started with the uh, Monsuri abscess, you know, before the main free, the vesicle, the seminal vesicle. At that moment I said my prostate is in front of me. Why have to uh, make all this surgery to arrive anteriorly and cut the uh, uh, puboprostatic ligaments, move the bladder, when the prostate is just here in front of me. Okay. And, and uh, another band. Yeah, sorry. When you uh, find your plan in between the, the non via the non via fascia and the prostate, you can detach the fascia without any problem, like a, a, a tape from his part, you know. And uh, uh, before that, you were doing the conventional dropping down the bladder uh, before starting this technique. Yeah, I was uh, I've done anterior approach. Like, anterior uh, approach. Now, like every, every body. now, so you have uh, almost uh, minimum one to four years follow-up of your patients. And what what do you find at the end of the day? What are your results in terms of time to continence? 
time to continence is, uh, uh, you know that I don't, uh, do not put the bladder catheter. Okay. So we have a suprapubic catheter, and we take out this uh, eight days before, after surgery, mm -hmm. because if you take out before, you have a retention. Right. Not incontinence. Right. And uh, uh, it depends on uh, the stadium, the staging, uh, and the age. Right. I mean, for the patient, T2, uh, under uh, 65 years, we have 100% continence, immediate continence, after taking off uh, the sovereign mm -hmm. I have never, I, not, I had never that result with my surgery in, op in an anterior approach. No patient has, uh, talking about yeah, my yeah, yeah. Uh, no patient have needed any pad if they were under the age of 65, am I right? Yeah. No patient needed an yeah, air. Completely continent. Okay, and uh, what? It's, it's clear that if you have an advanced cancer yeah. or more difficult or previous surgery, the time to reach continence is longer and longer. But the rate of con in con the continence, sorry, of all the 1,000 procedures, I mean every age, every uh, stage, is 98%. 98 percent. Okay, and uh, uh, when, uh, what, what about retention? You rightly said because we are leaving bladder neck intact and uh, there, there is a uh, high incidence of retention. Only before eight days. If you remove before eight days, yeah. otherwise you don't have any retentions? No. No retentions after. No retentions. Mm -hmm. You have a, a, a fine uh, looking, good looking, um, uh, images of uh, uh, micturition, micturition boiling um, cystogram after before removing the bladder, uh, bladder suprapubic catheter. Uh, Did you that find is not a problem because you don't move? Right. You know the axis in between the uh, urethra and the bladder neck exactly the same. Right. So we have not uh, angles or uh, obstruction. You see the edema of the bladder neck that you have because you have you seen I respect all the bladder neck and the bladder neck I never uh, maybe two cases three or three cases in 1000 uh, I needed to reduce the bladder neck before the anastomosis. Okay. Now tell me something have you found it's uh, unexpected improvement in erectile dysfunction following no. prostatectomy? At the beginning I was, I thought to have more better result in uh, erection, and uh, the results are different. The, the best result uh, is uh, uh, concerning continence, immediate continence. For the erection, I think that there is a, rela a direct relationship in between the stage and the age. Right. Yesterday we did a very difficult case live demonstration. Now, with this much of experience, can you tell to a young person who wants to adopt your technique, what are the cases which are very difficult to approach through Bocciardi or posterior approach? Yep. Uh, first of all, a narrow uh, pelvis and uh, fat inside, because that mm, you mean that you have no place to move and to orientate. Mm -hmm. Because, but the best case is uh, a 50 gram prostate in the normal uh, patient without prostatitis. The prostatitis make uh, or uh, without many series of uh, biopsies. That means uh, um, makes the fascia sticky and glued to the prostate. It's more right. difficult to, to find a way. Now, uh, totally, how many people are following your technique? Uh, I heard that Dr. Gaston was doing it uh, at um, uh, in 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 uh, Bordeaux or somebody. Who all are following your technique? Uh, Michel, uh, Richard Gaston sometimes mm. make these uh, in Italy with Pansadoro. Um, Jan Soy, Kuhn uh, Rai is doing your technique. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think Jan Stolzenberg. 
Mm -hmm. Little by little, you know, in Italy sometimes it's the doing, and uh, we wrote with uh, many men on some, some yes. words. Yes, yeah, M Mani is doing, um, uh, yeah, um, randomized trial on yeah. this procedure. Now, if you have to think ahead with your procedure, because it is amazing, the quality of life improves if your results, as you say, and I believe, are hundred percent continence on the eighth day. Yep. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. Now, if you want to further relook into your technique and improve on it so that it gives similar results in and in the hands of an average surgeon. I believe, because you know my uh, assistant, Antonio Galpano, um, we start together, so he knows very well the technique because we uh, approached and we, mod we modified uh, step by step uh, just now. But when he started after three or four uh, operation in my, with me in, on, on, on the back, now he's completely uh, able to do a loaner all the procedures. Also the big one, he has done 300 grams of adenoma. Uh -huh. It's not very easy. Right. So it's not difficult. It's very simple. No, I'm thinking from the, because you are the proponent of this technique. Yep. And can you think of anything in your technique which would further simplify the procedure? Any positioning or any kind of retraction or yep. anything what you what strikes you. because you know technique will have to evolve in your own hands. Yep. So w what do you think? Is there a scope of uh, further improvement in the technique? As always, yeah, I'm sure that. Uh, but you know we do that uh, some once a month we uh, re uh, we see again the tape of the intervention that we, in which we had some problem okay uh, and we modified the protocol so that we have done a protocol and we all the movement uh, of the operation is uh, uh, justified for a reason okay and because it's not difficult I say that because if uh, uh, our assistant follow the protocol uh, reach the same result and uh, it's sure that we can uh, ameliorate and um, uh, do something better, as always in our work. You know? <laughs> so how many radical prostatectomies your center does in a year? 200. 200? Yeah, uh, because, the, because of the uh, of problem of money. And you yes. said that you have done 1,000 uh, of bichardis yourself in your center. One. Uh, my series is ah. 1,000. Yeah. 1, Quite a while. Oh, yeah. uh, 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 would, you, would you be supportive of any multi-centric study? Because I represent foundation and we do. Uh, we have a unique database and we try to do collaborative multi-centric study. Would you be interested in uh, or, absolutely. Uh, or even doing a prospective uh, yeah, trial, yeah. not the randomized, but prospective trial between yeah. your center one to one with the uh, uh, interior uh, kind of thing. Because sure. I am thinking from the point of view of creating a strong evidence in yeah. favor of what you do, yeah. and that would benefit large number of patients yeah. than what you are able to do. I agree because I'm looking for that, but it's not very easy to do that. No know. foundation can facilitate it. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. It was it's wonderful great. talking to you and giving time to me, and and uh, look forward wishing you all the best, and you've done a great job. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a great day and safe journey back home. Thank you.